Giving it all we got Giving it all here uh, we are at the Grand Canyon today in Arizona Nan and I we decided to come here uh, honey spend a day here mm -hmm. yeah and Nan is wasting no time she's already got to sit down and uh, open up some lunch lunch meat and some bread Spanish style and we're gonna sit here and have some lunch after lunch we're gonna take you to the visitor center today's Labor Day September, what do you say? September 2nd, right honey? Yeah. yeah. September 2nd, Labor Day, we arrive about 1.30 p.m. There was no line at the park trying to get in uh, with the cars and get our tickets. Uh, so just, just a little point of reference right there. I did hear that if you get here in certain times, uh, certain days, you can wait up to 30 minutes to get in, in the park. Our plan is to take you around the Grand Canyon today, show you some viewpoints, show you how massive and impressive it is. So tip number one, first one, your first stop should be the visitor center. All right, so you can also rent bikes over here or take bike tours. This is the visitor center, the entrance to the visitor center. Here is where you can ca catch uh, the buses that take you around the park. my friends and here is the Grand Canyon
are a few viewpoints so don't miss out it's only a five minute walk from the visitor center so check out those viewpoints before you drive to the uh, to the market village Nani scare <laughs> and she's holding on to my shirt look at it oh no we're not going up there oh look at this people over there they're crazy huh oh look at this Look at Nan, she's so scared. Come on. You don't want to get closer? I mean, I can see why she's scared. It's so impressive. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's people there and those rocks. And you gotta be crazy to go there because there's a long way down to the bottom. And I don't know if you guys can see it out there, but that is the Colorado River down there. The skywalk, okay, the skywalk is actually on the north rim not on this side. We are on the south rim. Okay. Skywalk is in the north rim. We are in the Tusayam Museum and Ruins. This way are the ruins. The kiva was a ceremonial room. Its basic structure developed from ancestral Pueblo pit houses. Various activities took place here, including storage, ceremonies, rites, and festivals. Public portions of these ceremonies were usually held in the plaza. In the center, you see a little circle that was used to be the fire pit. And right here on the sides are the benches. I don't know, these were storage rooms. They used to store things over here. Now, I don't know all this stuff. I'm reading enough of the signs over here that you guys can't see. See, right here. So this is where they lived, honey. So this is where their houses, where they lived. Uh, living quarters. I don't know, where is their Wi-Fi? Where do they connect their Wi-Fi? Yeah. All right, these rooms were living quarters. Though the initial excavation report suggested that the amount of rocks debris was enough for a second story, the debris visible today suggests a single story for the three or four main rooms. During the estimated 25 to 30 years of the Pueblo was occupied, its 
population probably did not exceed 30 people at one time. Wow, this is uh, this is the Navajo Point of the Grand Canyon. It is. Look at Nan, she's all excited. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's the Colorado River. That's water. That is the Colorado River. And look at that. See that bird right there? That's a condor. You got what? Oh. You can you can look really deep. See, you guys tell me how deep is this? Look at this drop. Beautiful. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Come here, honey, let's take a picture. Still, there's some rain over there all right and here we are in desert view point we are going to take you to the famous watch
ですか It's not. This doesn't move, honey. It doesn't move. Come with me. Hold my hand. It doesn't move. If it's not safe, they don't open it. Come on. You scared? Why are you scared? Come on. Well, let me explain to you. If this move here, the same thing happens to you that happens up there. Come on, let's go. We came all the way here. Damn. So Nan is a little too scared to come all the way to the top. She says that she's feeling the tower move, which is not. This is the top level. And I was safe and sound. Let's go. I want to go down there by the balcony. Yeah, let's go to the balcony. View of the Colorado River. It's beautiful. <laughs> Nan survived. You survived? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you survived. <laughs> We're good. And here is why they call it Desert Viewpoint. Because from here, you can see. The desert. See that? All that desert here? The water goes No, Colorado River goes that way. And it, it follows that way.
are on our way from the Grand Canyon back to Flagstaff, which is where our hotel is, there is a scenic viewpoint that caught our eye. And we're gonna stop by and check it out. Hey, thank you to all our friends, subscribers that keep watching our videos. Uh, hopefully, you had a great time uh, watching this video in the Grand Canyon as we took you along. Uh, we have a, another visit planned to another place. We are going to Las Vegas next. So yes, Las Vegas. Uh, we are going to take you with us. Uh, we hope you enjoy it too. Uh, and if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. You know, comment, let us know what you think about it. And until next video in Vegas. Bye. We can break the silence. We can break the silence.